hello and welcome to my channel i am light i'm making this ponytail this crochet bun ponytail with needle and thread the first thing is to tie the thread the end of the thread so it's secure and it doesn't loosen we are going to be sewing on the rough extra part of this net first of all now get your needle and thread and then put it through the mouth of your crochet and then make a loop that's by um, tying the thread to the crochet mount and then when you're done you now tie this crochet that you've already used you've already tied the needle and thread to you now tie it to the rough part of your net so i want to go over this one more time there are rough parts of the net is just like the back of a clothes and this is where you're going to be attaching all the crochets at first okay for this rough part now i'm putting a finger space and then i'll put the crochet and then i'll tie the thread twice this is just to make sure it's secure anyway that's how i'm going to be tying all the thread so in case i don't show you just know that i'm always tying the thread twice so it's very secure so now this is a finger space crochet a finger space crochet a finger space crochet this is how it's going to be until we are done filling up all the rough parts of this net so let me hold it up so you see and have an idea so this is how it's going to be round all the parts of the net okay this is it i'm done with every part all round i'm done now it's time to sew on the neat part so now we'll hold the rough part first and then we'll sew on the neat part the neat part is just like the opposite part of the net so now this all the hair is falling towards this side but then we're going to sew at the other side as you can see now if you do it as a bonnet there's one part that is going to be very smooth and then the other part is going to be rough it's going to have you can see these lines that's not the part we are going to use so we are going to use the smooth 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 part <laughs> for the sake of people who might not be able to just put it random and get it we need to put it five by five that is there are five lines here and you can put five crochet on each line that way it's going to come out as five by five so it's going to have it's going to fill up everywhere but then it's going to be orderly so that way you have five by five lines five vertical lines and five horizontal lines everywhere is filled up and everywhere is even now i'm taking you back to when it wasn't filled up this is just a reminder it is the opposite part that you're sewing okay because some people might not repeat or rewind this video it is the opposite you know when they say that you took a tutorial on youtube and you couldn't even redo it like that is not going to be the case with you okay <laughs> so let me show step by step how i filled up this five by five method thing keep watching and enjoy the music <laughs> I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and run, yeah, yeah Line one is finished. That's how we keep on putting the lines line by line. Yourself with the world, baby. Breathe slow, baby. Yeah. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and run, yeah, yeah. 
now the third line that's first second and third line is filled up so that's how you fill it up making it five lines okay now we are done it's time to put it on our head so we'll fill up the front part so now i put it on my hair i secured it with the band that it comes with and then i put that band around hiding it and tucking it into the hair and into the ponytail bun now as you can see there are loopholes but i wanted to also check if these loopholes are going to be there when i set my bun so i brought out five strands of these crochet braids and what i did to set my bun as always or as usual is just wrap it around with enough single braids and then the ends of the five single crochet braids i used one single crochet braid just twisted it and then secured the roots of this ponytail you can see it came out looking nice but then there were still loopholes so this goes to show that we need to fill it up and then i had more crochet remaining i remained it on purpose anyway so i loosened the string that's what makes it very small to enter the ponytail i loosened it meanwhile please like this video if you have enjoyed it so far thank you <laughs> the main aim of losing the string is to see the extreme ends so now we're going to be using this other extreme end as the top part of our ponytail so now see the string is below then i'm going to be filling up the top part that is what we're going to use as the front part of our ponytail and draw the string behind this is me basically filling the front part that part that i held up that is the only part you need to put braids i finished all the remaining about 10 crochet single braids at that part and then you can see how it came out looking next thing is to put my crochet on my head <laughs> as you can see i drew the string behind so this other part is on top the part that we filled up is on top now it's just time to set the bun well so you just bring out five braids again just do exactly the same way again just wrap it and then that is it as you can see there's no loophole i was searching and like i was searching for what i know is not there <laughs> i hope you guys liked this video and will be able to do yours subscribe if you're not subscribed for more thank you Mwah. <laughs>